Today I'm going to show you how to create appointment slots with Zoom information in it. There's two different ways that this will work depending upon how you have your calendar set up. So first, what you'll want to do is go to your calendar and select the day that you would like to have the appointments on. I'll use the 15th as my example. So let's say from 12 to 2, I would like to have appointments. I'm going to create that meeting and then select appointment slots. I can determine how many minutes I want those appointments to be so that when people book into that, they can see how many minutes they have um, and it'll break up or open the slots for me. So the easiest way, and if you do have Zoom integrated with your calendar, you should be able to come down here and select make a Zoom meeting. So I'll go ahead and give this a title. And then if I'm able to, I can select make it a Zoom meeting. What this does is then add Zoom information to these appointment slots and now people can go ahead and book their appointments. They have Zoom information so that we can connect for our one-on-one -on -one meeting. If by chance you don't have that box that says um, make it a Zoom meeting down here, I'm going to show you now how you can still use the appointment slots feature within Calendar, but add Zoom information to it. So what you want to do is if you recognize that you don't have the make it a Zoom meeting button here, you'll want to go over to trinity.zoom.us and select sign in go through the process of signing in, and then go ahead and schedule a new meeting. Now I said that this would be on the 15th from, we'll say, we'll say it starts at noon. Rather. Um, I want that to be a total of two hours, so I have this meeting available for two hours. I can go through, check all the settings that I want, um, you know, video on and off, ensuring that I have a password and things of that nature on it. Um, obviously having that waiting room enabled. Um, if I determine that I want to meet participants upon entry, I can do that. Uh, you know, any of the information that I would typically do just to set up a regular meeting. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save. After selecting save, I'm taken out to the page that has my meeting information on it. Um, so what I want to do is navigate over to copy invitation, which should be on the right hand side about midway down the page. So you go ahead and select copy invitation and then copy meeting invitation. So I have that information copied now um, as if I, you know, hit control C or command C, depending upon if you're on a Mac or a PC. Now what I want to do is navigate back over to my calendar. And here, you know, I'm going to add that one on one meetings title. And rather than, you know, selecting save, I'm going to come to where it says more options. Then I'm able to add in a description. So this is where I'm now going to go ahead and select paste and paste in that copied information that I got from my Zoom invitation over here. So as a reminder, you have to take the information out of Zoom and put it in to the calendar. Um, we don't recommend, I know that some people have tried to um, create it right from like this Google Calendar piece. Um, I don't recommend that. I recommend you copy the invitation, copy the invitation, and then come over and go ahead and paste that information then into your Zoom meeting. Now you can save that. Um, make sure that you know the slot durations are the right amount of time. Um, you have that information that you need in there, and then go ahead and select save. <clears throat> and what you'll see, so that you know that it's an appointment um, slot, you'll see that four box um, icon there next to the meeting. When someone goes in and they select an appointment, you know, they'll be able to see all of this Zoom information um, and they'll be able to click on that information, put in the password if they need to and be, be a part of your appointment. So that is how, those are the two different ways that you can create appointment slots and add in Zoom information.